Um, the most important part of this forum is that when we come and address you, it's basically to talk about scaling. It's about scaling, it's about branding, and it's about moving the technology part of it into the next generation and the next uh, millennium for that matter. Because as you know, that we as a country and you as, a com as, as, as an industry have changed more in the last 10 years than you have in the last 100. And that the change is what is going to be constant in your lives regardless of what happens. As a matter of fact, the change will become even quicker. So coping with technology, because that is one of the greatest drivers of change, technology, entertainment, television, politics, etc., are going to be the drivers of change in the next 10 years, and it is going to accelerate. And how you cope with that change is going to mean success or failure for all the thousands of SMEs that exist in this country. And I think that we are on the threshold of either great achievements or tremendous failures. Our lack of being able to cope with the technology and the change for the next 10 years will mean failures. And our ability to cope, change, adapt and be flexible will mean tremendous opportunities for all SMEs in this country especially. What I would like to stress on is you are known not as a supplier but as a manufacturer of a great product. Now, if you, if, you, if you supply gear parts to the Mercedes, the Mercedes will never advertise the fact that the gears belong to Ahuja and company. But the fact is that Ahuja and company can always claim that the Mercedes car runs on their gears. Now, that is a brand. That means Ahuja and company are world beaters because they supply gears for some of the greatest cars that, that exist in this world. Now that breaks you out of the B2B category. And if you want to expand and if you want to grow, you have to grow out of the B2B category because you are too dependent and too vulnerable. Because if your business partner on the other side, for whatever reasons, in whichever country, decides to fail or close down, then you are hit by a massive setback. And you should have options worldwide, not just within the country to be able to supply to anybody you choose to because they come to you rather than you go to them. So the fact that you put up websites, the fact that you advertise yourself, the fact that you market yourselves, the fact that you represent yourselves to people all over the world who are also B2B but outside of this country will eventually make you into very highly viable and very proud owners of whatever you are doing. This also takes care of your next generation because your next generation who you managed to educate through great effort and sent all over the world for the best education that money can buy, is now coming back and they're not particularly keen on taking over the family business because they have far greater opportunities. So unless you actually set up a family business for them which they can be proud of and which they can take into the next millennium and expand much more than what you have done up to it, up to so far. And if you don't take your children into confidence, into the growth of your company, you will not actually enjoy the company because they will leave and join somebody else because that is where they are looking at their future because they have different visions and different ambitions for themselves. So to bend, hold on to the next generation, to pass on your legacy of great hard work and to be able to expand your businesses is very, very important that you take into confidence the next generation as to what they want to do and therefore place your companies in that in that region so that they can do something with your company. Now, the, the third vertical that I want to talk to you about is basically about finance. And without finance, you are not going to progress. So today finance is available. It's available relatively cheaply. It's available relatively willingly because the government is actually willing to bend over backwards to help you with this. But you have to also help yourselves. And by keeping your books absolutely above board, by not keeping second books, by not creating more black money than white money, you can actually prove to banks and institutions that you can repay the loans that you want for expansion. If you can't do that, 
then no amount of cash in the bank or no amount of cash buried under your mattress is ever going to help you get a loan to expand. So my, uh, what you call advice to you is that this is the time to become transparent. This is the time not to have to worry about paying your taxes. This is the time to actually take the opportunity that this government is offering you in terms of cheap finance and moving forward. Thank you.